Guys, welcome to Upgraded Eats. We're doing a cooking show. It's happening right now. It's the, it's the first episode. We have Britton Wood up here on camera. How's it going? Britton, what are you making for us today? Uh, today I'm gonna to be making a Texas tort. It's a family kind of tradition. We have it during the holidays. It's mainly just like a layered cheese dish. But in this version, we're gonna do all the layering with cheese, vegetables, and sausage. And also, I got a little dessert planned uh, for you. I'm gonna do some uh, Chardonnay poached pears as well. Sounds amazing. So we're gonna start with our veggies, kind of prep. You just want like a little thin slice, about medium slice. We're gonna take these over here, put them in here. We're gonna do two slices diagonal, then that is impressive. Oh, my favorite part, jalapeno. There ain't jalapeno. nothing better than pepper. There ain't nothing better than pepper. Let's just, oh yeah. Probably just gonna use half of this because I don't want to make it too spicy. For sure, you're not trying to kill anybody in here. And really thin. The good thing is, if the pepper got too much, look, we got that little cute little thing of milk. That you is, know, you, know you look like a giant holding that. Jolly green. Jolly and Green make sure Jalapeno. This is really good. <laughs> Jolly Green Jalapeno. Look at that. All right. So we're going to mix that in there. We got Can you vegetables. show them that thing again? Because this thing, look, yeah. at, look at where this is going here. Oh, we're going to be cheese grated. I haven't yep, seen so... cheese grated. I haven't seen cheese. Nobody grates cheese anymore. They buy the little, the little shredded things. Um, what I found out was like whenever you're making or oh, baking. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Like, look at that thing. Cheese, like the shredded cheese has this like coat of plastic on it, so that's why it doesn't stick. So if you're making like a cheese sauce, it's always better to do a little grating. For sure. Well, it's got a whole different vibe already. I mean, I can tell. So now we're gonna do Here our comes sharp the cheddar. cheddar. Here comes uh, the cheddar. ball it up like this oh, and then yeah. feed it to your friend. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is sharp. Mm. We're gonna crack two eggs. Crack. Right there. Watch this now. There it is. Whisk. So we're gonna whisk this together. Man, oh man. Keep on stirring that for me. Yeah, I'm absolutely. gonna add in about Put half a cup of milk. Make whisk, whisk. And then we're gonna add in about two tablespoons of Get that going. Absolutely. Yeah, whisk it like you mean it. All right, all right, all right. So that now that we got this done, though, we're going to start sauteing our little veggies oh, over here. We... There we go. You want about medium high swing. heat. We're gonna take a little knob of butter, about a tablespoon. Put that in there. Let that get warmed up and melted. So we're gonna start with this uh, sausage. You can make your own sausage. I have a mild sausage uh, from Jimmy Dean. Yes. Thanks, Jimmy Dean. You kind of ball it up a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's the sound that you want to hear oh, right yes, there. Delicious. All right, so you want to cook sausages through. And then we're going to add in our... Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce to you veggies with a little bit of meat. And come on down. Oh, my gosh. Give me, give me, you know, God bless us all. This is, it smells amazing. It ain't even done yet. We're gonna dump time. our white wine in here. We're gonna start on our dessert. Sometimes you can twist this bottle. <laughs> I've never seen a white wine dump. <laughs> get that going. I'm gonna add our sugar while we're over here. So it's uh, equal parts, one bottle, one cup. And then we are going to kind of stir that and incorporate it. Multitasking in the kitchen is so important that you can do two things at the same time, because we're gonna bake this, and then we're gonna start prepping our pears. So as you can see, like the sugar's all the way incorporated with the wine. She's dissolved, she's up. So we're gonna add in our cinnamon. About a tablespoon. No. All right, so once this is started boiling, mm -hmm. we're gonna cut that heat all the way down to low. Once it's almost there, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of salt. It's kind of, you wanna salt mm -hmm. everything as you go. All right, so this is looking actually it's looking pretty so good. good. Yeah. So we're just gonna dump our cheese in here. And then we're going to incorporate our sauteed goodness, the meats and the veggies. Give this a little toss about. Before we do anything else, we're gonna give this another quick little stir. 
just in case it didn't fully incorporate. And we're gonna whisk this in. All right, so we're just gonna mix this all together. I already greased my pan here, and then we're just gonna kinda just make sure it's nice and oh, even man. inside here. You can use this as an appetizer or like a side dish. Um, you know, easily six people, six nice. to eight people. It's looking like, it's looking like a feast. All right, and that's pretty much what it should look like. And so we're gonna throw this in the oven for about 35 minutes and then we're gonna get on to some poached pears. You wanna set your oven to 350. Texas toward in the oven and we're going to heaven. Just so happens the main chef's name is Britain. Hey, that's me. That's you. Just what? when they thought they had everything that they needed. But they didn't. They peeked their head in the oven and swear to God they won't be believing. Texas toward in the oven and we're going to heaven. As you remember, we have our sauce already on the pot simmering over there. So we're gonna dive into this pear. Slice it in half. We're gonna core it next. And we're just gonna dive in there like that. So once you have your pears peeled, um, so I, well, cut myself. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Is this kind of bad? No, I just skimmed it. All right, so a little uh, safety warning. Warning. Uh, sometimes the peelers can be a little dangerous. Kind of cut myself on one. But well, let's get back into it. Remember that sauce that we had? We're gonna kick it up just a little bit. We're just gonna set them in here. Simmer until they get nice and tender and ready to eat. Well, let's get on to the blueberry coolie. We're gonna put maybe about half, a little bit more than half in here, and then save the rest to put in the sauce so it gives it a little bit more texture, a little bit more citrusy to it. And then we're gonna just start mashing. How about you try to do I'd that? To. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna cut this lemon. Uh, you can just squeeze it with this to catch any kind of seed. Nice. But we're going to add about a tablespoon of sugar to it. We're going to do a little pinch of salt just to bring out that lemon. Yep. We're going to strain the peels out. Mm hmm. Bring the juice out. So we have this done. This is going to be our base and our topper for the pears. And let's go check on our pears. So they're looking pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of flip them over for this half. Uh, looking good. We're gonna add just a few of these blueberries in here just so they would look nice on the plate. Also, it's gonna soak up some of that wine and cinnamon and just be real nice and tasty. And then about 20 minutes or so, it should be nice and tender and we'll give them a check. Oh, beauty. Kind of give it a little shake because sometimes the center of it doesn't quite get firm, but like that, that's beautiful. And then we're just gonna let it chill until we're ready to eat. So our pears are finely tender, so we're just scooping these out, and then while these are resting, uh, we're gonna let our sauce reduce probably about another five minutes, so it's nice syrupy consistency. We have our blueberry coolie right here, so we're just gonna scoop a little bit of this, on the plate, gently raise the pear. I want to get some of these blueberries that we simmered in with our white wine and cinnamon sauce. We have our good old haagen vanilla ice cream. There you have our poached pear. So this thing is nice and chilled and settled. So we're gonna make sure our sides are nice and loose before we kind of scoop it out. There we go. Bubbles. 
cut it into pie shape. And this is kind of what you want to look for. Now it's not soupy in there, it's nice and firm. If you want some hot sauce, you can dump some hot sauce on that. Oh baby. All right, have at it. Start off with the Texas tort. Thank you. Yeah, see what you think. Man, I've been kind of wondering about this. Look at that cheese bar. I know. It's like it's all there. It's like boom. It's the flavor blast immediately. With the with the cheese and the cream and the egg kind of makes it a little creamy to the bite. Mm -hmm. You have that crunch mm -hmm. uh, whenever we baked it. Um, you get a little little heat with the jalapenos that we added and the little mild sausage. Uh, the peppers really just like overall just like encompasses everything. It, yeah, it just it just it's, it's all together and it, it seems like it should go together. Yeah, I'm, on go diet, I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet. You know, baby. I can't help it, you know. And <laughs> do a little tender pear right here. My screen on yeah, do a little. I help. Appreciate you. Oh man. Oh man. Date night. <laughs> It tastes like creamy, just creamy goodness of just heaven and unicorns and shit. It's perfect. It's got that good grain, it's soft, you know, it's something from the earth. Um, with the ice cream, are you kidding me? And that sauce. Yeah, the pear definitely like get brings it. it back down get to on earth. It. And it's not as sweet as you would think. Not a joke, is it? It's really good. <laughs> it's Brittany, I think you outdid yourself. I think episode <laughs> one was, um, is already a success. This is amazing. Thanks for coming on Upgraded Eats. Thank you for Dude, doing your thank thing. Thank you so much. Thanks for being the best chef. Oh. Thanks for coming and sharing your talent with us. Guys, Upgraded Eats, comment, like, and subscribe. Come on down.